or Bada or Prin Han Da Bao. It's really great to be with you all once again. I wonder, are you ready for the Easter holidays, ready for your Easter break? It's really close now, isn't it? It's just around the corner. Well, next week, as your holidays begin, it's also the most important week of the year for Christians. It's a really special time, more important than Christmas almost, if you can imagine that. It's a time of year called Holy Week, and in it we remember the most important week of Jesus' life. We remember what happened 2,000 years ago. I thought we'd think about that week today, and I'd show you some symbols to help us remember what's happening. Well, the week begins with Palm Sunday. Now, not palm as in the palm of your hand, the middle bit. Palm as in palm leaves, like you get on trees in hot countries. Palm Sunday is the day that Jesus arrives in Jerusalem riding on a donkey. And everyone's so excited that he's there. They're all rejoicing, singing, shouting, waving palm branches in the air. Uh, laying them on the road in front of Jesus, uh, along with their cloaks and their coats. Such a, a joyful scene as Jesus arrives. Everyone's so excited that he's there. But by the end of the week, just a few days later on Friday, it's like everything has gone wrong. The exciting, cheering crowds have turned into uh, an angry mob. All of Jesus' friends ha have run away because they're so scared. And Jesus has been killed on a cross. Like this one. From the most wonderful, amazing start to the week, it's suddenly become very sad, completely awful. Everyone's so sad and upset. On Palm Sunday, we give people crosses made out of a palm leaf. They, they fold the palm leaf around to, to make a cross. To remind us, in the joy of Palm Sunday, what's going to happen a few days later on Good Friday. So on Friday, Jesus is dead and he's in the tomb. All his disciples are scared and hiding, worrying it might happen to them too. I want to tell you the story of one of Jesus' closest friends, Mary, a lady called Mary, and what happened to her as she came to visit Jesus' tomb just a few days after he had died. Many years ago, there was a woman called Mary who lived in a country called Israel. Mary had lived a sad life until the day she had met Jesus. Then Jesus had become her friend and she had spent many happy days in his company with the disciples. However, just a few days ago, Jesus had died and Mary was very sad. She didn't understand how it could have happened. Jesus was such a good man. He had cared for children. He had shown love to all sorts of people. He had healed the sick. And he had taught everyone so much about God. How could anyone have wanted to hurt him? But they had. Just a few days ago, he had been killed. His body laid in a tomb and a big, heavy stone rolled in front of the entrance. It had been a terrible day and Mary hadn't slept a wink for days. She had such sadness in her heart. She had to go to the tomb, to be near Jesus, even though he was dead. Early in the morning, when there was still no one stirring, she left her house and made her way to the graveyard. What a shock awaited her. The big stone had been rolled away. She peeked inside the tomb and saw that there was no one there. Mary sat down on the ground, exhausted with sadness. Where was Jesus? Where was her special friend? She began to cry with great, huge sobs. This was all too much. A man approached her quietly. Mary thought he was the gardener. 
What's wrong? he asked kindly. Why are you so upset? Oh, sir, Mary replied, not even looking up. They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where to find him. Mary, the gentle voice said. Mary recognised that voice. It couldn't be. She lifted her head. It was. It was Jesus. Yes, Mary, Jesus smiled. It's me. I'm alive again. Mary whooped for joy, laughing through her tears. And then she took off. Down the hillside she ran as fast as her legs would carry her to wake everyone up and tell them the wonderful news that their friend Jesus was alive. Isn't that a wonderful story? And what a roller coaster of a week, isn't it? It starts with the, the joy uh, and the palm leaf waving of Palm Sunday to the, the sadness and the despair of Good Friday as Jesus dies. To the joy and the wonder of Easter Sunday as Jesus is alive again. You know, that brings me to the last of our symbols. I think you'll recognise this one. Easter eggs. I wonder if you like chocolate, if you like Easter eggs. I'm very excited to eat this in a week's time. But why are eggs a symbol of Easter? There are no eggs in the story, are there? Well, maybe it's because eggs are around like the stone in front of Jesus' tomb. Maybe it's because they're empty on the inside, just like Jesus' tomb was that first Easter Sunday. Maybe it's because so many animals are born from eggs, new life coming from eggs, a reminder of Jesus' new life, him coming back to life again, and the new life. Christians share with him. This coming week, I hope you'll remember about the joy of Palm Sunday. Remember Good Friday and the cross where Jesus dies for us. And then enjoy tucking into your Easter eggs. Let's remember that Jesus is alive again. Shall we pray? Dear God, thank you for Easter. Thank you that Jesus is alive again. And we can share his new life too. Help us to remember as we eat our eggs, what Easter is all about. Amen. So shall we pray that special prayer that Jesus taught us? Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, I hope you have uh, a wonderful Easter break, that you get to have some rest, that you get to enjoy some yummy treats, maybe even an Easter egg. Uh, as you enjoy them, remember that the stone that was rolled away, that the tomb that was empty, and the new life that Jesus has and we can share in. Have a, a wonderful Easter, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.